Hey y'all, I'm Trishana, the coordinator and instructor of the Sewing Training Academy, and today I am going to put a patch on this denim jacket. This one's awesome because it has an adhesive on the back, which we can iron on first, but I also like to also stitch it on because it stays on better and it looks cooler. I have it placed exactly where I want it. I've put a pin in it. I'm gonna take that pin out now and I'm going to put a press cloth over it. So this has sequins on it and so I definitely don't wanna press directly on top of those, but I also, um, with patches, they could get shiny if you press on top. So you always either wanna use a press cloth or press from the back. I'm gonna give it a little bit of seam. I have my iron on a wool and silk setting um, and, and using lots of steam so that it doesn't melt anything that I don't want it to. I'm going to sew this on with a straight stitch. I'm going to adjust my stitch length just a little bit. I'm gonna put it down to a two. That's because my, um, my applique is really um, has a lot of curves to it, so I want to have a little better way of turning. So I'm using the zipper foot, and that's because I like how I can get right along the edge, because you don't want to sew very far, and I definitely don't want to get past the sequins. And see how that size two stitch is actually like really nice and short, and it's helping me to make this curve. So you just kind of have to take your time. stretch I'm going to cut these threads off so that they don't get tangled in it and keep going around and what I'm going to do is I'm going to overlap my stitches at the end I'm not going to back tack I'm simply going to overlap so I have to make sure I hit those stitches straight on should be good so it's on there you can see the stitches on the back make that banana shape and it looks so cute I'm gonna go bananas <laughs> 